How do you do, my friends, abundant in many places and everywhere? Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls and teachers especially, I am the professor in this place. My name, Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics, our business. And we are talking about the classical demonstration called the monkey and the hunter, in which arises an interesting question. You remember we have a tube of smooth bore, and we bore sight on a monkey held up by an electromagnet. Tin can. We put the projectile in the chamber of the gun, and across the muzzle are two little wires which close the electrical circuit to energize the magnet. Now, what do we do? There yonder hangs the monkey. Here I am, the hunter. And with one projectile in the chamber, I blow. The projectile emerges from the muzzle of the gun, separates those two little wires, opens the electrical circuit, and down comes the monkey. And what does the projectile do? The projectile hits him. Now, if I blow harder and have a higher muscle velocity, maybe I can hit the monkey here. Call this one, call this two. If I blow harder, having a higher muscle velocity, maybe I can hit the monkey here at M3. Question. Remember, I have bore sighted. No correction with mechanisms along the barrel. Cor question. Can I blow hard enough? To hit the monkey there? Answer, never. Never, never. Why? Because the moment the projectile emerges from the muzzle, it is attacked by gravitational forces and could never take that straight path. More than that, I have this to say, and this will alarm you. This will alarm you, which is part of my purpose. Supposing I had a gun which was leveled exactly horizontally, and I shot a projectile at a target horizontally, and there are no sight corrections on this instrument. I hope you see that I could never hit the target. Never! Example, supposing the muzzle velocity of this bullet was a thousand feet per second. Supposing this distance was a thousand feet. And supposing absolutely ideally the muzzle velocity of the bullet is unaltered, unimpeded, unchanged. It would take one second for the bullet to get from here to there. But in one second, this bullet takes such a path, and if you recall your knowledge of freely falling bodies, in one second from rest vertically, this would be 16 feet. Indeed, if I were to shoot this bullet at this target right here, it can never be hit. So somebody says, look here, Professor, I shoot guns and I hit targets. Sure, the gun is made to do like that by the sights that are fixed to it, and the projectile takes this path. And anybody could, with that mechanism, hit a barn door. Barn door. Thus, we conclude some interesting exercises on projectile motion. All enchanting very much so. My next experiment has to do with uh, two potatoes. A small potato and a big potato. And with the adventure on these two potatoes, we will distinguish two very important ideas. Temperature, temperature and heat. And they are constantly misused and used badly and much wrongly. Heat and temperature do not mean the same, and we shall make the ideas clear with a small potato and a big one. So you see the virtue of plebeian things. You don't need a elaborate apparatus.